Okay, folks, so welcome back once more to The Long Dark, and it has been a few weeks. Yes, indeed, it has been a month, actually. Uh, simple reason for that is that I am now back at work again. I'm working full-time, uh, and I'm working away in a different town, so I've got a bit of commuting involved, so uh, it's finding the time to sit down and do these recordings. So, we are here, we are still going, we are doing The Long Dark, and I have been doing a tutorial series in the background as well, which I'm hoping to release I'm hoping to release it before Wintermute, but quite frankly, Wintermute is coming on us very, very quickly. Uh, we only have a couple of weeks for, until Wintermute, so I don't think I'm going to get it out there in time. But there is a tutorial series for The Long Dark coming. However, we are back, and we are back in the sandbox, and we are going to start a new series. Yes, I did two videos of the um, As Soon As Faithful Cartographer came out. I managed to do two videos, and then obviously it's been static for such a long time. I can't remember where we were at, what we were doing or anything so I think it's probably best if we start again so that's what I am going to do so let us go into the sandbox there indeed is the original game but we've, uh, we've been such a long time I think we're going to start a new one um, so let's create ourselves a new game we're going to stick with Stalker um, not going to start in Forlorn Musk Egg I have been doing some other little bits and pieces for the tutorial series of where I started in Forlorn Musk Egg deliberately to die very quickly so I could get it on video but I'm not going to do that today uh, let's start in Desolation Point, actually. I don't think I've ever started in Desolation Point, so let's give that a try. And we shall play as... I'm calling her Aurora, which I think might not be the right name, but uh, that's what I'm going to call her. Okay, so this is going to be YouTube 2, which I can't even spell. And we are going back into the long dark. It's been a long time. Okay, so let's see where we are going to spawn. This is the kind of tension moment as we start a new game. Where are we going to end up? Oh, in the middle of the night. That's that's excellent, that is. Brilliant. Okay. So where are we? Um, we're actually right by the transition to one of the mines. So I don't know if this is the mine that takes us out of Desolation Point. I think it is, actually. So we've literally spawned right up by the mine. Okay. Let's start picking up some resources. We don't want to waste any time in getting ourselves going. And obviously something else that you've no doubt noticed, I have got rid of the webcam. I've got rid of the, the picture of me is no longer there. Uh, simply because, because of the way the long dark now is, wherever I put it, it was blocking some of the um, displays on the screen. So I wanted to keep those clear. So uh, I've decided to remove it. Now, I don't think we are actually by. Is this the main mine that leads out of Desolation Point? I'm not convinced it is. Let's head inside. I'm not sure we're going to be able to get very far here. This is Old Island Connector. I've only got matches though. We can find a bit of coal in here, so we might as well pick that up. We've got a few things. We've got a book. We have soda. We have burnt our match. Let's see if we can light another one. Just so we can gather what we have. I'm not wasting any any time in picking up resources. Oh, is that not coal? That's not coal. Okay. Okay, let's go through the drawers. If there's anything in here. A hacksaw. Okay. Nothing and... Oh, was that the only draw? Oh, okay. Oh, no, I missed the middle one. Nothing. Okay, let's head back out then. This isn't the best place to be. I know it's the middle of the night, I know it's cold and all that stuff, but it's not the best place for us to be hiding. So let's, let's head outside. In fact, it might actually be kind of approaching... Uh, uh, we are heading towards dawn, actually, so it's not as bad as I thought. Okay, so let's have a quick peek over the edge of here. Oh, that's a long way now. Is this a climb? This isn't a climb. This isn't a climbing area. It's not a rope drop. There's the road down there. I think this is actually the, the drop that takes you out of Desolation Point. So let's head this way. Picking up anything that we see as we go. Stones. I've been doing a bit of experimenting with stones whilst I've been getting ready for the tutorial series and it takes a bit of practice to make any use of them. Another stick, we need that. So I'm just going to get rid of the uh, matches and we're running around with it. As you can see, there's a new running animation as well when you start to run. If you're holding something, your arms swing backwards and forwards as well, which is kind of cool. 
That's the famous gnarly trees leading us in vaguely in the right direction, hopefully, as we go down. Obviously, I'm aiming for the lighthouse since we've spawned right up by the entrance. Okay, Ooh, a couple of stones. Let's pick those up. I am. I'm literally. I'm starting out. We're gonna do. Woo! I've got this after a bit of a little there. Where have I gone? Hang on. Have I just gone down a dead end? No, I haven't. There we go. Um. Yes, I know. Um. Yes. What? Well, um, I'm gonna start off with a new uh, survival sandbox series. We're gonna try and keep this one going all the way through till winter mute, if possible. Um. Again, the only reason I'm restarting this is because I had those problems with. Um, it's simply being a very long time, which it has been. It has been such a long time. It's been a month. I've been uh, playing the game a little bit um, to do the tutorial series, but I haven't really been playing it, so... Let's uh, quick nosy around the vehicle and we'll head back again and we'll carry on. It really is quite cold out here. See with all the new graphics. We have got a hypothermia risk. Okay, so let's get ourselves onto the road. So yes, um, so it's been an incredibly busy month working full time again back in the IT industry. Um, but it's nice to have a little break and do something a bit more creative and a bit different, which is what we're doing. There's a wolf down there. That's not what we wanted to see. In fact, two of them. We have a very nice uh, sunset, uh, sunrise rather, it's not a sunset, is it? Um, okay, I'm not really sure, is that a wolf or is that a post? That might be a post actually, that might not be a wolf. That might actually be a post. Yes, that's a post, okay. Or is it? No, it is a wolf, it's moving, it is a wolf. Well, there's the lighthouse. But obviously I have a wolf between me and the lighthouse, which is not good. This is one of the things that tends to happen on Desolation Point, is you wind up with a uh, wolf attack as soon as you spawn. Plus we know there's one down there as well, as we saw it. So just be a bit careful. Oh, it's down there and it's spotted us. Okay. Well, we do have some flares, so let's make use of the flares. And this is one thing that's back in the uh, Faithful Cartographer is we're now throwing flares again instead of brandishing them. So they're a bit more effective at getting rid of the wildlife. Okay, so that's fine. First of all, the, the lighthouse is one of very few internal locations on this map. For anyone who's not seen Desolation Point before, it is pretty desolate. There isn't that much here. Let's pick up some of these sticks. We need some firewood of some description. There will be some in the... Uh, in the lighthouse, but I don't want to waste it. Oh great, he's coming back. Brilliant. So we still need to go that way. There's the lighthouse. We've got to get to the bridges that lead across to it. So we're going to have to deal with Wolfie before we can go any further, I think. I thought I'd push my luck a bit there. I thought I'd push my luck a bit. There we are. Okay, so the lighthouse is over there, we're going to go across the bridges to get to it. I don't think, have I ever come to Desolation Point in one of my playthroughs before? I'm not convinced I have, you know. Great, I can hear wolves growling at me. Okay, I'm just gonna, let's just try and run. Let's, let's just run. Let's, let's just do this Mirror's Edge style. Don't look backwards, let's just run. Hopefully we can get across the bridge. There we go. Very nice scenery, as you can see here. Yeah, Desolation Point's only got three internal locations on it. Uh, you've got the whale processing building, which you can use. Uh, you've obviously got the lighthouse, and you've got the ship, the Weekend, which is over there. In fact, we can see it. There it is. So we can uh, we can head over there. The only problem with the Weekend is there's very little on it, and it is in complete darkness the entire time, regardless of what the weather outside is. So. You always need to have good lighting whenever you go in there. Here we are then, we're at the lighthouse. 
You can see the, uh, the new graphics and the symbols on the screen now that I've removed the webcam. You can see everything. See the sprint bar at the bottom. And in we go. Okay, so we've made it to the lighthouse. So we've made it to our first uh, inside location. We can set up ourselves a little camp. But first, let's do some looting. So we've got wood matches. We've got a storm lantern. Any medical supplies get us going? No, anything in here? No. No. And an energy bar. Okay, and we'll obviously have some firewood down here. We've got some shoes under there, but they're not brilliant shoes, so I'll probably just leave them be for the time being. Whoops. So getting used to the fact you have to hold the button down to do the search now. Newsprint, that'll come in handy. And we have a book. We have some more newsprint. So yeah, this is for anyone who has not seen these playthroughs before. They all start off in exactly the same way. We are going to set ourselves up a base camp. Um, which is going to be the lighthouse. And we are going to be uh, looting the lighthouse completely. Finding all the resources that are in here. And then we'll go out and we'll loot the other buildings on the map. And bring it all back here. So I am literally collecting anything and everything. So this is obviously the sleeping area. Uh, that's where the bed is. Um, anything under the bed? Nope. Okay. Ooh, there's something on that shelf. Bit of lantern fuel. It's a bit surprising that you don't find cans and cans of lantern fuel in a, in a lighthouse, but never mind. Another flare. That's good. Oops. That is actually a clipboard, which you cannot pick up. Rifle cleaning kit. Well, useful, but we don't have a rifle yet, so it's no good to us, really. Uh, some reclaimed wood and some leather, which we can use for repairing shoes. And obviously, we've got crates and things we can break down, but we can't do that until we have... Oh, we can. Can we not break... Ah, we can't break the pan down until we get hatchet, but we can break the crates down, so that's useful. Fire. We can't get in there because they are locked, and we don't have a pry bar. We can get in this one. Nothing in it, though. So, carrying on going up. We get to the very top of the lighthouse. We can actually go outside. So let's pop outside and see if there's anything up top. Which there quite often isn't, but there might be some little things up here. There's the hatchback down. We can go out onto the little thing down at the bottom. Uh, at the top, rather. Oh, a couple of rifle rounds. Okay. Again, no use to us to get a rifle, but never mind. We do have... Oh, yeah, look at that. That's pretty cool, isn't it? We have sunrise over Desolation Point. And we can see virtually... The Desolation Point is not a massive region. It's quite small. I, I honestly don't think I've been here before. And this is something that I do like now, is we do actually have sea effects in the long dark. So we are on the coast. You can see the sea. We've got frozen... This section of uh, water here is frozen, but then you do end up in the water um, where obviously you don't want to be. It's not a good place to end up, so don't walk out that far. You probably whether you'd make it that far, I don't know. Whether you go through weak ice before you get there, uh, I have no intention of finding out. Uh, also, over there we've got a church. There's a little church there. It's not an indoor location. It's a ruined church, but there should be some good uh, good loot up there. So we'll go over there in a minute, I think. Uh, but yeah, here we are. So this is going to be our base, the lighthouse. Now the only slight downside of the lighthouse is we get lots and lots of wolves, and there are some wolves. There's one down there. And obviously we've already encountered a couple, so they tend to patrol around this area, so you have to be a bit careful when you're coming and going. And there is only one way in and out of the lighthouse. That's the only other slight downside with it. Uh, you have to go across those bridges, um, which you can only get to from the road. So that is another slight downside for the lighthouse, but we're not really going to wind up being here for a very long time, in complete honesty. So. I've chosen the lighthouse as my base simply because it's fairly close to the exit. Well, that's a bit awkward. Um, have I got my storm lantern? I need a storm lantern. Let me just cycle through my... There we are. I can see what I'm doing. There we are. Right, okay, so let's head down. We've pretty much looted everything that we can from inside the lighthouse. So let's just get ourselves set up a little bit. Okay, so most things I think I'm going to keep downstairs because that's where the drawers and the cupboards are. Um, so what do we actually have in our backpack? Let's have a look. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so fire starting materials. We have a few things actually. Before we go any further, let's just extinguish this storm lantern. Oops. 
which we don't want to waste the fuel. Okay, so let's get back into the menu. And clothing menu, we can actually just make a few little tweaks. I don't know if it's going to make any difference. Yes, that's going to make a slight difference, so we shall do it. And we haven't picked up any other clothing at the moment, so that is what we have, which is not brilliant. Okay, so newspaper we can harvest into tinder, so we're going to do that. Let's do a little bit of housekeeping before we go any further. We're approaching midday as well. You can see the little clock in the corner now. The new little symbol. We are approaching midday. Um, okay, we've got two books that we can use for starting fires. We've got a fair few matches. We've got a newsprint roll as well that we can also harvest into tinder, so let's do that. A little bit of housekeeping. Okay, we no longer have hypothermia risk either, which is cool. Uh, we've got some coal and we've got some firewood and we've got plenty of matches and all that kind of stuff. So we shall drop some of these matches. We don't need to carry them. And let's drop this coal because it's quite heavy. So we don't really want to be carrying that around with us either. And let's dr actually, let's drop the cardboard matches as well. Let's just keep those and we'll drop the two books because they're all really, really heavy. So we don't really want to be carrying them around. Uh, coal, I think I'm going to pile up in a little bit of a pile in this here corner. One of the irritating things about it is you can't stack objects. So, okay, the two books we shall keep on the table next to the fire. So that is what they are for, those particular books. And matches we'll keep on this window shelf. Because ultimately I'm gonna break the table down for firewood. So. Uh, and store too much on there. So there is the matches. Okay, so we've done a little bit of tidying up there. Let's just have a quick look at our general condition. It's not too bad. We are quite cold, so if we head back outside, that's not going to go well. Uh, but I do want to head back outside because I want to go over to the um, to the church and see if there's anything over there worth us having a look at before it goes dark. So I think I'm going to I think I'm going to be pushing things a bit here, but I'm going to do it because we don't have a great lot at the moment and I don't want to be waiting for too long so let's go for some stones and then let's head back out again and head across and we'll head to the church oh we've immediately got hypothermia risk okay let's not do that then let's uh, we're in this one for the long haul so let's not do anything silly so let's go back inside the lighthouse we need to warm up a bit more before we go doing things like that okay Shall we light ourselves a bit of a fire and do our water um, water production? Get ourselves some water going. So as we say, starting off a new playthrough, uh, we are going to be we're going to keep this one going for the long haul before we get to winter mute. Uh, I'm really really hoping that winter mute um, does come out on the day it's supposed to come out on, and that I can get onto it pretty pretty quickly. In theory, I should be able to. And I'm really, really hoping that we can uh, we can get into Winter Mute and I can have a really, really good go at uh, doing several videos on Winter Mute all in one go, so we can get those released nice and early. I'm still really excited about Winter Mute, as I'm sure everybody is. Okay, let's uh, pull down whatever water we can. We'll do a litre. So we're getting ourselves set up then, so we've done a bit of looting, we've decided where our base is going to be at the lighthouse. We're uh, now lit our first fire and we are boiling some water, making some drinking water. And we're warming ourselves up at the same time as well, so that we can uh, we can head outside without risk of uh, hypothermia. So we can go and explore the church. Because again, I want to keep these moving. I don't want to sort of sit around for ages and not do anything. I want to try and keep these going. But then we want to try. I'm still going for that 100 day target. We've done this 100 day thing and I really want to get to this 100 day target. So I'm going to take a torch. I'm also going to come back to that in a bit because obviously we're going to need the charcoal to make um, to make our maps in Faithful Cartographer. So uh, I should actually pick some up. Okay, the weather is not looking good at all. Um, it's a bit annoying that you can't see the temperature now unless you go into that menu. You used to be able to see it just by doing that. Uh, right, okay. I think as much as I want to keep these things moving and as much as I want to make them go quickly, I'm not going to because I think uh, 
we're not going to make it very far if I do that. So let's come back inside here and we'll stay in here, I think. So is there anything else that we can be doing? I don't think there really is. I think we literally have done everything we can do. Um, apart from have a quick look around some of these uh, state menus. In fact, though, if that does go out, can I get the chunk off from it? Seven minutes, six minutes. Okay, we'll come back and see if we can get the charcoal for that in a minute. Um, have a look through some of these menus. Obviously, we have navigation with the map, which is completely blank as it stands at the moment. We have our journal, which tells us um, we visited the number three coal mine and we've um, been to Lonely Lighthouse. Condition dropped as low as 79 up to 100. We've burned that many calories and all that stuff. And we can, of course, write notes as well, which we shall. I am going to get back into the habit of doing that, which I haven't been doing for the last few videos, but I'm going to get back into the habit of doing it because I think it's kind of a cool way to wrap each video up. Uh, fire starting skill has gone up a tiny little bit because we have lit off as fire. We've done absolutely nothing else. Um, and that's pretty much it in the journal menus at the moment. So not very much to see. Um, yes, so the fire's gone out, so let's go in here and take the charcoal. We get one piece of charcoal from that. So let's also go outside and see what we can survey. And if the weather is as it was a second ago, I don't think we're going to be able to survey very much, but let's give it a try. So we are surveying the local area. And there we are. Yeah, we're not seeing a lot because obviously it's all blizzardy and anything else. But we can see now we have the low firehouse. We have bits of water, I assume that is, or ice, and then that's land. Okay, and as we do more of this, we'll be able to uh, hopefully start using the maps to navigate a little bit so that we can get around a little bit more easily without getting lost. Although, to be fair, you do learn fairly quickly where everything is, so... Okay, so we're nice and warm inside the lighthouse. The lighthouse is a, is a good place to be. We can be here, and we are at one degree. I think it might drop slightly, but we should be absolutely fine. We don't need to worry about it. Um, let's break down some of these crates and get some reclaimed firewood then, because there isn't very much else we can do right at this precise moment. As we are starting off a new playthrough with absolutely nothing, we have got to build it all up again from scratch. We are dehydrated, so we just need to drink some of that water, which you can now do from the uh, quick access menus. You don't have to go all the way into the backpack to drink and eat, which is pretty cool. Okay, we can't break down the pallet, but we've broken down everything else. So we've got ourselves a nice little... Oh, there's a container there. Completely missed that. Not that it made any difference. There's nothing in it. Um, are there any other things that we may have missed on windowsills or ledges? Is there anything up there? No, it doesn't look like it, but it was worth having a look. Right, okay. So, I think we are uh, pretty stuck now with what we can do for the rest of this video. Uh, we've still got time left, though, so let's just stick our nose outside, see if the weather's got any better. And the answer to that question is, no, it hasn't. No, it hasn't. Right now, if I was in a slightly better condition, if I had slightly better clothes and all that kind of stuff, I probably would risk it just so we've got something to do. But unfortunately, right now, I think if we try and get over to the church in this weather with the kit that we've got, we're not going to we're not going to make it very far. So I'm not going to chance it. So I think we are a bit stuck at this point. There isn't very much I can do. I can do a little bit of passing time, I suppose, for a few minutes and just see if the weather improves. So let's jump into bed. Uh, in fact, I don't have to pass time. I can sleep. So let's sleep for a couple of hours. And let's see if the weather's got any better when we wake up. And then we might be able to go and do something. To round this first video of this new series off very nicely. I'm hoping I can keep up with these. Obviously, now I'm working full time again. It's uh, a bit of a challenge. Okay, yeah, so that got better. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's uh, let's just give up on that for this video, I think. Uh, yeah, so now I'm working full-time again, back in IT again, back in IT management, and it's uh, been a bit of a steep learning curve in a different environment for me. So it's been a very busy month or so, So, uh, but hopefully now I can keep up with these, keep on doing them, and we can get back on a regular schedule, get these videos coming back out again as we play a bit more Long Dark. Still on Faithful Cartographer, and still exploring Faithful Cartographer in Stalker mode, and then obviously Winter Mute when it comes. 
comes out, and that's going to be pretty cool. But we've made a start in Desolation Point. We are in the lighthouse. We have done very little in Desolation Point at the moment. We are going to make our way across, I think, probably to the ship next. Uh, or the church. Probably the church first, then down to the ship. That's probably what we're going to do in the next video. Um, and then we shall build up from there, make ourselves a little base camp here at the uh, lighthouse. And then we shall have a think about making our way through the old island connector and off to pretty sure it's coastal highway that this one links to um, and then we can have a, a, a folk around on some of the other regions and see how long we go and we really want to make 100 days this time so let us fill in the journal before we finish the video I want to get into the habit of doing that you can't access it from that menu anymore you have to do it from here okay so let's go to notes let's write notes so what have we done we've started whoops we have started um, we have made our way to the lighthouse. We have scared off the wolves, which is the best tactic this early on in the game. We've looted the lighthouse, been stranded by the bad weather. And that is pretty much all we've done in this video. But it's a good start. We've got ourselves going, we've got ourselves set up in the lighthouse, and we can carry on from here next time. So I shall say until the next time where we shall carry on with the long dark. I am going to say thank you very much for watching as always, and I shall see you again very, very soon.